Why is the gridless uh, gasifier necessary? Well, I have here on the right side my uh, clean out, and on the right side, on the left side, a, a sieve. And um, I'm sieving out the ashes. batch I only find a very small clinker but uh, uh, no. a little stone voila this is uh, little in this batch Here's another batch. I have this little stone. There's some clinker. A little screw or a spring. Some more stone. This is uh, because of uh, the industrial chips. See? Well folks, these are my findings after uh, seven and a half hours burning industrial G50 type wood chips. Um, mostly stones, but here a piece of uh, metal scrap. Here is a little spring. Here we have a little spring. Uh, here we have a, an, a screw. The screw, yes, the screw. We have the here, we have something like also metal, sounds like a shaving. Some other piece of metal. That's uh, oh, look, what a wonderful screw! It's hard to see. broken off screw somewhere from a machine this is uh, what you can find on your grate after seven hours solid burn well everything when it's ca accumulate to your grate it will uh, do much harm on the breeding effect of your gasifier and we all know a bad breeding gasifier is running cold and produces dye. So uh, that's why I went uh, exploring the road of the greatless, greatless, and in this case, a greatless drizzle gasifier. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something.